ISIS, they try to attack not just the church, but also the families, the Christianity, and they want to kill the population and their own history. Just before ISIS came and occupied our land, our monastery, especially in Karkosh, in Nineveh Valley, I feel something will happen. It's very dangerous against us. That's why I decide to put all these collections, many kinds of collections, in the big truck and take it out of Nineveh Valley and Mosul and put it uh, here in, in Erbil in Kurdistan. It's very important to us to save our heritage and keep it safe to future generations. The Christian community here in Iraq is not a new community. It's very old, since 2000 years ago. We have from 12th to 13th century many grammars and many dictionaries uh, in Aramaic especially. Uh, the language of Jesus Christ is our mother tongue. And we are proud to keep it and keep also many uh, Muslims collections and uh, from Quran, from Hadith, from uh, uh, al fiyad bin Malik and also man some Yazidis manuscripts. When I get a manuscript in between my hands, I'm thinking about many hundreds, maybe many thousands of uh, people who use it. They, uh, they prepare the wood, the, um, the leather, and the paper, and everything. And they pray by this during more than one thousand of years. How many eyes, how many mouths, how many hands touch it and use it till now. That's why it's very important to keep it and to keep it with our community, old community. And we hope uh, going back with our families to our own land. But you see, it's very damaged from inside. Even a little piece of paper uh, of manuscripts, I respect it because it's our history. If you, we want to keep our kids for future, we should keep also the roots. So the tree with the roots, we have a future. Without the roots, we have no future. With our faith, with our collections, with our history, we became strong against ISIS.